Today we're going to talk about how like to set up and fight in Double Bubble. So like at the, at the start of like any um, and, like in a team fight, you want to decide like whether to do one or of these three things, and this is really important. You need to have a plan. So um, first you're going to decide. Hey, either I want to set up angles, I want to play it slow, I want to build energy for my Zarya, um, and then I'm going to look to engage once I have energy, once I forced out cooldowns, once I have those staging positions. Um, and second, you can decide, hey, I'm going to look to throw an ultimate. Like last video, we talked about like the ults that can be used to engage early, but like I have one of those ultimates, so I'm just going to like pop one of those ultimates and, and I'm just going to set up, set up like mid-fight. So I'm going to have my tracer like maybe set up like a bit first, and then I'm going to go engage with Nano, and then my tracer can go in from there. My Sombra is already set up behind, but I, I'll just move my core up to um, help contribute and brawl with like the enemy. Um, and th the third thing you can do is, um, you can decide, hey, like, this choke might be a bit too hard to break, or, um, hey, I'm really close to an ultimate, so I'm just going to farm the ult before going in, and then I'm gonna look to play, like, play fast, so I'm gonna play slow, I'm gonna, like, use my engages, I'm gonna use soft engages, but, like, I'm not going to look to move my core because it might be too dangerous. For example, in Hanamura first, like, you don't really want to move your core in. You don't want to take too much risk until you have ultimates because, like, if you do, then they're just going to, like, try to use their own ults to keep you in the choke or punish you for pushing in. Or, like, it's just going to be so damn hard to push in that your engage is just going to be compromised. You're going to use a lot of cooldowns just to survive. So I'm just going to play, like, so, like, you might decide, uh, I'm just going to play for an ultimate. So, um, you, you want to do one of those three things, and it's really important to, like, plan those out. But, um, but, like, let's go over, um, what it means to, like, play slow and sub angles, because, like, that's, like, probably the hardest, the hardest, like, fight plan to do in Double Bubble. Like, when you don't have ultimates, some teams, like, they, they give up on, like, setting up like neutral engages entirely and they go for like ultimate engages but I think that's like a I think that's a wrong take because like you can't just rely on ultimates even though like this comp does have like strong ultimates you can't just rely on your ults you need to like be able to do something in neutral fights and like you farm ultimates not ultimates not by like usually like um just like you know standing a choke and doing nothing having your monkey take damage you don't do that but you farm ultimates by having your monkey go in and giving your team opportunities to farm or like you know your team will farm ultimates naturally if they're doing the right thing if your zarya is trying to like if you're like you know zarya is trying to um to to like uh farm uh, energy she's gonna like you know poke from range and you want your Zarya in like a position where she can actually poke from range so you do have to like help your Zarya rotate you want to have your um on a farm nano like your team does need to take take quite a bit of damage to do so um you want to have your somber farm emp well you need to give her opportunities to farm emp and you need to provide some credible pressure from like your side so that your Zarya, your sombra can say hey i'm going to farm emp from my side so um you need to like get something done in the neutral. You can't just rely on like ultimates. So um what are you gonna do like if you wanna play slow though though? So um you're going to um first set up your core somewhere in a secure position where like they can support your monkey in the first engage. So like generally that means on Anubis you position outside here. This is where like most enemies will be set up to punish your engage and where you don't want to be. There's a widow there. And um, if you stay out of that LOS, then um, then like you can like still bubble your monkey as a, as your Zarya as a Zarya, but like still remain safe from like the enemy spam or like you know engage potential. So like you're gonna have your monkey go in, and and like you're going to like typically during the first engage, you're not gonna have your core do anything too significant. You're gonna have your core rotate somewhere where they can where they are more forward like they're not they're stuck at choke you're going to um have your core like break away from like um the like the main um the main choke or where they want to be like you want to like get out of the enemies like 
like kill box as soon as possible you don't want to like be stuck in like here where the enemy can just like go in and and just like kill you from multiple angles you need to get your get your like um core outside of there if possible so in this case you can have your core walk in a bit you can have your sombra walk in with your monkey engage and more importantly you're gonna do you're gonna do it during your monkeys engage you're not going to just like um just um uh, say hey we're going to to just walk in without our monkey and then we're just going to be spammed out no you want your monkey to go in and actually draw some attention attention so your core can safely rotate so let's say great your core has rotated to let's say this is the high ground position and your dps also need to be taking angles so um now, like, your Zara's gonna have energy, you're gonna have ultimates, what are you gonna do? So you're gonna decide, hey, do I need to, like, soft engage some more to, um, get my core into better positions? Do I need to get my DPS into better positions? Do I need to build energy for my Zarya, or, or am I close to all? Like, those are decisions that will impact it, but, um, you want to decide whether, hey, do I want to, like, start the fight, second engage, or do I want to you know, soft engage some more. And, like, there are reasons why, like, you might have to. So first, like, let's talk about a how, what is the optimal engage for double bubble. And uh, the optimal engage for double bubble is, like, the enemies crowd together. And this might seem counterintuitive, but it's, the reason it's true is because, um, like, like, with when the enemy is, like, you know, together, it means that like there's nothing that can punish you if you just engage from multiple angles like if there is a widow here for example then like if you go in you the zen might decide hey i'm going to trans and while that's happening the widow just gets headshot after headshot but if the widow is like right here then like the widow has nowhere to escape and like nobody has anywhere to escape and you can just like surround them from multiple angles and and just like finish them but you want to them to be corralled and this might not, not always be possible but you want to do it as much as possible and like if you don't do it enough like if you leave too many stray angles when you engage then the enemy is just going to um the enemy is just going to um like punish that from like their angles so um that doesn't mean that like you can you can't like try to punish you can't just try to have your monkey go on an isolated target because like if you like generally like if this widow says say had like um had had like grappled then this would be bad because they can just kite back to their team and go back but and you 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 wasted a cooldown to do so or you wasted multiple cooldowns but if this widow had no grapple for example then you can just like go in remove this widow stabilize and take the 5v6 that's okay dive is good at punishing those things but uh, like otherwise like what you're going, trying to do is not to like kill isolated targets but you're just going to look to corral them back to your team like ironically you want to make them like not isolated you don't want like them to have angles everywhere so um so like you can do this not only by like having your monkey go in like you don't want your monkey to just waste all his engages on um, jumping on isolated targets but you just want to to like use your dps if possible you don't have a diva which makes it kind of which is kind of kind of worse because um diva is really useful in contesting angles but um but like for example how you're gonna do this is like when your monkey goes in you're gonna like zone off their supports and while your their supports are zoned off you can use that opportunity to punish isolated targets so for example this widow like your tracer not your tracer typically like your sombra can like you know go from here and poke out the widow from range and force some of them to like force the enemy to kind of peel back for her, which like makes space and and like weakens and allows your monkey to get even better results or like your monkey can say hey i'm just going to if you know, like hey i might be ready to like punish these players who are peeling back and we might be able to like hard engage from there or like we're just going to um say hey we're just gonna like clear this angle and then like and then like we're gonna like control this angle so we're gonna like you know try to set up sombra like somewhere close so they can't take this angle again or like if we have a tracer we might have a a tracer set up like you know way behind or we might have our winston set up here like the space is now free and you don't have to use like 
like um cooldowns to survive there there's no contest this space is free so while your monkey is engaging you want to look for opportunities not only to follow up on your monkey or to rotate but to punish enemies that are isolated and this is very very common against ball comps for example so um when your monkey goes in and zones off the back line, often like the ball might be in a position where like your core can just beam beam him down. And while that's happening, your ball will, the ball will either like the ball can't receive like you know heals from like Zen or or Brig that easily because the Zen or Brig is focused on surviving the monkey engage. So like you can like just decide to like, hey, I'm gonna throw CCs, I'm gonna hack the ball, I'm gonna punish them while my monkey is like zoning them off. So um. When you're engaging, like, you not only need to, like, you know, f look to build energy and stuff and follow up, but you also need to look to clear angles during the engage. So, like, if you see someone who's on an angle while your monkey is, like, in their back line, then you need to be punishing them. And I think this is actually more important than, than actually directly following up on your monkey unless you can find a kill. So, like, let's say, like, Echo's here, for example. Then, like, your tracer is here, so... While that's happening, you can have your Sombra, like, punish this, this, like, Echo. You can have your Trace, like, this Widow, I mean. You can have your Tracer punish this, um, this Echo, and you just force them back to your team. Just corral them, and then you can try to take control of that, of that space so they can't take it again. So, um... So now, like, let's say, like, you got, you cleared enough angles, like, maybe you left an angle, but it doesn't really matter that much. And let's say you're ready to hard engage, so... So, like, your um, and, like, the reasons you might want to hard engage, like, the reasons when I described in, like, last video, but, like, you only want to hard engage when um, either, like, your Zarya has high energy, you're set up in good positions, and you're ready to, you're in range to start brawling. Or, like, you have um, an ultimate to use to, like, um, nano or grav. That, that just allows you to, like, hint in. So, um... And, like, you might build in mid-fight, which would be really good. And generally when you build in mid-fight, like, you might not need to use it if you're set up in a really good position. You might decide, hey, I'm gonna, like, engage as normal, and then I'm just gonna, like, use it if necessary. But a lot of the times it's it's useful to, like, um, just use your ultimates, like, pretty, um, like, not sparingly. Like, you just want to use them because those ults, like, nano are really cheap to build. Ults like primal are also really cheap. So, um... So you're either gonna like go in and try to like start brawling, brawling the enemy immediately. So um, you can have your monkey go in, and then you're hopefully your back lines in position to like go in from the other side. You're gonna look to um, try to try to like approach from another side of your monkey. You're gonna look to like have pincer to pincer like the enemy, and that's why like map control is so important. You need to have angles set up around the map in order to do this. Or, like, you're gonna, like, say, hey, in for Anubis, for example, I'm going to force the point, and then I'm gonna force, like, some of you to go back to point, and then we're just gonna collapse on anyone who, like, contests the point. So, um, those are, like, the two ways where you can engage. You can either, like, go in and start brawling, or you can use the point to, like, pressure them into, like, an engagement. So, like, how you engage is similar to how you engage in, like, a brawl comp. You either force the objective, or you just, like, walk into the enemy, use your Winston to make space for your enemy to, to like, you know, go in. So, um, when you hard engage, like, like, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily, like, um, um, just kill them. Like, the enemy might, like, find a way to kite back. And if you sub your angle correctly, like, you can try to punish that and you can try to just pursue them. But, like, sometimes, like, they are able to kite back to secure position successfully. So what are you gonna do in this case? Well, when they kite back, they give a lot of space. And what happens when they give a lot of space? Like you, like what you want to do is um, you want to um, you you want to be you want to like um take that space, of course, and um you want to stabilize. You want to like reset your cooldowns before going in. And the enemy is try going to try to poke you out. During that, the enemy is trying going to like preempt your engage as much as possible. So like that's why um having your core in a good position still is good is like vital. You need your core like you don't want your core to just like fall back. You want your core to be still set in an aggressive position where they can help your help heal up any incidental poke. And then like once, and then like during that you can look to maybe soft engage to like 
clear angles and stuff. But like typically when the enemy kites, like they're not going to be able to set up their angle. So you can just like literally maybe force point and then look to, you know, brawl on the point. And like, yeah, so like you and like as again, you want to like engage from multiple sides and and yeah, like you want to. You just want to like collapse on the enemy and eventually they won't be able to kite because like maybe that because like they're going to be on the objective and like they can't just give up the objective. This is an objective based game. You can't just like give up the point that easily. So um, you're you're just going to like say, hey, if you kite back, we're just going to take the point. Simple as that. So um, we talked about how like you can engage like like, well, you know, slowly, how you can, like, just set up your angles first before engaging. But what if you do have one of those ults that allow you to, like, just engage really quickly? Well, in that case, you should look to engage really early, engage really aggressively, but there is, like, something you need to be really careful of, and that is map control. And so, um, and the thing is, like, because you don't have D.Va, especially, like, if you leave ang too many stray angles, then, like, they're just gonna punish you. They're just gonna look to, like, if they have something like ball, they're gonna look to, like, trade back lines in. And, like, they might just pick off one or two while you're hard engaging, even with alts. So, like, you need to be looking to proactively clear those angles, if possible, during the engage. And what do I mean by that? And I think this is best illustrated by an example. And so, um... Let's say that, like, like, um, you're, you, you have a nano and, like, your monkey's close to primal and, like, there he's ready to just, like, go in and brawl with the enemy. Um, and, like, you set up, like, some angles because, like, you don't want to, like, go in with no angles. You still need, like, some positioning to engage upon. Otherwise, they're just going to easily kite it back. But, um... But like, let's say you have a nano monkey and the nano monkey goes in. Well, like, what do your DPS want to do? So like, while that's happening, um, notice that like your, notice that like, um, that like, you, you still left some angles like stray because like you want to like engage early, obviously, but, um, but, like, if you just leave those angles and let's say your core pushes up, then they're just going to be, like, you know, punished by this echo. So, like, when you're, do when you're like, going in with a nano engage or something like that, when you're going in for an ultimate engage, it is really important that you, like, clear the angles first before, like, going in, going in and, like, you know, brawling with the core of the enemy. So, like, while your monkey's going in, he zones off the bap, he zones off the... The Zen and like for example your tracer will want to like you know clear this echo and force her back to her team who is under cleave damage under like you know severe cleave damage um, for example like maybe your Sombra set up here and like there's a widow so you want your Sombra instead of like just immediately trying to to like follow up on the engage you just you want them to um, look to to just like clear this um clear this and like um Widow first, force her back to her team, who is also under severe cleave damage. And once you have those angles, you can look to... And your monkey's still going to be in. Like, your monkey is going with a nano. That's very powerful. Like, and the core is still going to move up, like, as normal. But you want your DPS, or, like, if possible, like, your core can even do it, too. Your core can say, while well, walking up, say, hey, we're not gonna just going to push up. We're not going to leave this echo on the flank. We're, we're going to, like, path to clear this echo first before we go in. And, and then, like, we'll have this situation where you can brawl, like, with them really easily, like, this, where we're actually crowd all the enemies together, and we can just, like, you know, kill them all. But, um, it's really important during, like, an ultimate engage that you, like, clear, like, at least some of the angles, because, like, while you're engaging early, like, even though you're engaging early, and that's good because, like, it shocks the enemy, it, it doesn't allow them to, like, react... That doesn't mean you still can't. You still can leave these angles. You still need to clear some of these angles first, and you can clear them like pre-fight if possible. If they're holding angles that are outside of LOS of your supports, and you can have your tracer, for example, or somber try to clear them. And generally, like the advantage of running tracer, somber, and double bubble is that like they can act as a unit and like create two v ones against isolated targets who can be forced back to their team. So like if you can do it like before the fight starts, that's even better. But, um, 
But otherwise, like, you want to um, be able to say, hey, during the engage, I'm going to look to clear those angles and, and like, afterwards, I'm, and then I'm going to start brawling from a superior position to the enemy. So, uh, yeah, that's, like, what you have to do during, like, a engage. You need to... Um, clear the angles before going in and like on defense like generally you're gonna look to play even faster because like defense like it's really good to let's say this is the defending team instead the blue team so like okay let me delete all these um so like when the enemy like wants to go in like you want if you have ultimates and you can hard engage safely you're gonna you already have positioning like like preferably you want to set up before the fight starts but um when you ha already have those positions you can just like go in and you don't even have to clear angles like the reason you're going in is because like you want to like go in before the enemy has those angles but otherwise like on the attack it's really important to like um set up a good engage like somewhat before going in with ultimates you can't just like w in you have to clear those angles whether like before the fight starts or like during the fight like while the supports the enemy supports are like um you know caught up with your nano monkey for example so um and also like on the attack you might even decide hey uh, uh hey like there's no rush to like go in because like the enemy might not have ultimates you might have all tracked and said like the enemy has to play slow here so like hey we're just gonna play slow we're just gonna like play to clear those angles out and then we're gonna go in with an ultimate engage which is even stronger than like you know an ultimate engage where you still have to clear the angles but like the thing is that you need to like take map control like somewhat either during or before the like the engage before like you can actually have a successful engage and that is where a lot of teams like um fuck up like they they go in with the ultimate but not only do they not support their monkey but they just go in without like clearing the angles they don't clear the angles first and they get punished for it so um let's talk about like synchronization of like let's talk briefly about like synchronizing your um, your engages because um it's really important that like your that like your um, core your dps and your monkey are like on the same page so uh, a lot of teams like that when they first play double bubble they make the noob mistake of like having their zarya just poke infinitely from range they think that like they're only supposed to go in when they get a pick or something but for some reason but they they just poke infinitely from range and then like when their monkey goes in he receives no support because their tracer is too busy like you know trying to 1v1 the brig or something in the back line like in between the in between like the monkey engages but like here's the thing the best teams in double bubble like they their engage timings are perfect they're like borderline perfect like obviously nothing is perfect but borderline perfect i can see some teams like that like dallas so um like, when they, when their monkey goes in, like, everyone goes in at the same time. Like, when they hard engage, I mean, when they soft engage, they might still leave some players at the choke, for example, like, not at the choke. Like, they still might leave some players to, like, rotate. They might, they still do soft engages, but when they're hard engaged, they're, they are hard engaged. They are, they all go in at the same time. And, like, there's no, like, hesitation. And this is, like, the, like, tempo, the tempo control that you want to, um, to like adopt if you want to run this comp successfully so yeah i'm gonna go over like those things in the next 